Once upon a time, there was a friendship between Rissa and Quan and Juju and Des, but it went down the drain so fast. We got a request to make a video about what happened between them, so if you don't already know, here is what was believed to have caused the drama between them. The four of them were good friends and even Rissa and C were pregnant around the same time, like a month or so apart, and even Quan was happy that they are both having boys and they go on with all the fun they would have with their boys. And even the girls Rissa and Des couldn't stop talking about how lit the family trip is going to be. Once they both had their babies that never happened can't say for the future though, Juju and So gave birth to their son Koa first, and So being the lovely husband that Justine is he decided to gift his wife a push gift for bringing their lovely son into the world. And he gave her a bracelet that has details of what matters to them like a rainbow, which indicates the previous miscarriage in the past their son and their faith and so on. And of course, destiny was touch and everyone that watched the video. Now, fast forward to when Rissa gave birth, and Quan also being a good boyfriend, then now turned Fianchi decided to give Rissa her push gift. He gave Rissa a necklace with the details of what matters to them like the name of their son, double R meaning Rissa Roberts, which means when she finally becomes Quan's wife, and a Birkin mommy bag, which he bought her already. It was such a thoughtful gift and Rissa loved it and she was so emotional about the gift. Now, getting to the comment section of the video, a lot of people were talking about how Quan copies Juju and how they don't do anything original and they mend themselves. I guess this got to Quan, and he relpied in a now deleted reply that the idea of the push gift was originally his, and he shared it with Justine as a friend, and now to put two and two together and see who copied who, clearly saying it was Juju who copied his idea, which was originally his. Many people believed that it is one immature way to end a friendship with someone and that Quan could have handled it in a more matured way and could have avoided the drama by not giving the comment attention. Now, what do you think of this do you also think it is immature and who do you think it is to be blamed for it is it Juju who did not give credit to the original idea owner or is it Quan who handled it in a not so matured way let us know in the comment. And ever since then, they stopped making videos together and even stopped seeing each other and only follows each other on the socials. Rumor has it that when Shine turned one and Rissa was ranting all about on Twitter that she was talking about Juju and does not wishing Shine a happy birthday which they did when Juju and Say's son Koa turned one and it was not acknowledged by either of them. No like or reply whatsoever? Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you are yet to. Rissa was ranting on Twitter saying if the so-called person do not like her or her family, then they should unfollow her, and then she later made another tweet saying people should stop guessing as they do not know who she was talking about. But some people still believed she was talking about Juju and Des, how true this is we do not know and of course, after that Twitter rant Rissa and Quan was asked if they beefing with any YouTuber, and they said no that they do not have beef with anybody. At all. Okay people it is not as if they will admit it that they have beef with anyone and cause more drama, but now we think things are more cool between them than it was before both couples are great and we wish them all the best. Maturity do matters when handling some situation especially if you are a public figure. Don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to do that and give this video a like and we will see you on the next one.